Hey everyone, I'm back for another doll vlog review. Um, this one is for a doll or a type of doll that I've been wanting since I started collecting like uh, the more high-end fashion dolls when I was like uh, 17, 17, 18 and they came out around that time. Momoko's from Japan. They're just like amazing, amazing dolls. Um, there's like the two different types. There's Sekiguchi I think that's how you say it, and then there's like the C, CCS ones, the close clip sh uh, sheep, and um, I got the Sekiguchi one because uh, they're the more affordable one. There was a CCS one that I really wanted named Mocha, and she had like the two-tone hair and like bleached out eyebrows. She was amazing, but she sold out in like two seconds, like two seconds. So there was just no way that I could get it, and she was really expensive. So um, you know, these dolls. Um, they are more on the high end price point wise. This one was like 150 with that was including shipping, uh, American I guess. I bought it from Mimi Wu, um, and they're a, a, like a doll online doll company, and I think that they also sell on eBay, located in Hong Kong, and I think I believe it seems like it's just the one lady selling them, but um, she is really really good. I would recommend shopping there um, to other people. Um, I read up about it and a lot of people had really good uh, positive things to say about her. The shipping from Hong Kong usually does take a long time. I was talking to my friend about it who buys like stuff online all the time and she's saying that shipping from Hong Kong does take a while but um, this one I think it took maybe two weeks if that to come from Hong Kong and usually when I order something from like Toronto it takes like two weeks to get to my house. So. Um, yeah, it went from like Hong Kong to Singapore and then Singapore to Vancouver. So it went really quickly and I got her on like a day that I was like really not in the best of moods. So it was a good thing. Um, anyways, on with the review of her. This is the box that she came in. Um, she is called Dolly Dot. They come in like, this is like a little sleeve and then there's this and it opens up and you can see her inside. Uh, very simple, like, packaging and everything, but, you know, this doll is, like, she's so pretty that it doesn't need elaborate packaging or anything. Um, yeah, so I guess I should show her to you now. Uh, here she is. They are, I'd say about 12 inches. They're very, very petite and delicate looking. Um, they're fully articulated at, like, the knee, the foot bends. Um their waist, and then also like at the bust line underneath it, um, they can like rotate. Um, their arms are articulated here, elbow, wrist, and then their head is movable. So this one, um, I got her specifically because she looked very like Gyaro to me, which is like one of my favorite um, like fashion subcultures from Japan. I just think it's like super amazing and the girls go like 110% with it which is so cool. She kind of just looks like a like one of the offshoots of that um, like style. So she's wearing this like um, kind of like a cupcake style dress with an empire waist and like the big bow. Uh, her outfit's just made out of like cotton um, and then she has like this little bag with the bow and like a real chain handle. Then her shoes are these like little um, like nude colored booties with an, a peep toe um, and her hair is this like uh, strawberry blonde color with like a blunt bang and there's like a slight wave to it. The picture her hair has like more of a curl to it with the pieces that are in the front but you know it's still really pretty. Her face is so delicate looking and her makeup is just very subtle and very girly and fresh and just like really really pretty like I could not recommend this doll enough I had wanted one of these dolls for so long and I'd never seen them in person and then I got one and I was just like this doll is amazing like it is worth the money um if I had a job right now I'd be buying like tons of them <laughs> so yeah I don't know why I put it off so long but um definitely worth it and the posability is unbelievable yeah, I can't, I don't have enough, like, good things to say about this doll. Um, or I have too many good things to say about this doll, I should say. Um, yeah. So, um, 
that's it. I definitely re recommend uh, Momoko dolls. Uh, they're super pretty. You guys, if you have money, if you like have some extra money lying around, you should definitely get one. Birthdays, Christmas, all your occasions. Just buy one of these dolls because they'll change your life for sure. All right. Um, oh yeah. And they come with these like super lightweight stands with like a metal rod and then this part that just kind of slips around their waist and it says uh, Sekiguchi on it. So, yeah. Just like that and you can like pose them and all of that fun stuff. Also, um, her underwear is super cute. It's just like these little lace um, like thong style panties and they have like yellow bows on the side if you can see that. I just think it's a really cute detail. Um, but yeah, so there she is. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.